in the local part of the entered sector, the situation is not critical. I sat down with that in agency last week. They are now at the point of refusing universal claimants due to a series of entities. And also the dealers when they had to with the DWP. But the shortage of available social housing due to buildings under investment, you can only imagine the ramifications for this city and its citizens. <coughs> then there's the huge issue of digital exclusion. An online system of claimants, it's caused huge confusion to many who have never had any experience how to deal with online claims or where to go online. The DWP analysis shows that just half of all claimants are unable to register their claim online. With these figures in mind, what does this government do? It closes the very centres that offer advice and assistance in our communities with the Job Centre Culture Programme, leaving people to travel across the city to ask their support, confused. Another local authority who have suffered full rollout said sanctions were one of the biggest issues regarding the UC and spoke about a client with severe disabilities who had an epileptic fit on the way to a job centre appointment. They were taken to hospital after collapsing, then sanctioned for 106 weeks for failing to turn up to the appointment. This is the cruelty what we're going to face. Lord Mayor, the Social Trust reports that in the past year, food bank failed rose by 52% in areas where the full rollout of universal credit was introduced in the previous 12 months, compared with a 13% rise across the UK as a whole, shameful statistics we will all agree. The food banks across our city, as I know, are under unbelievable pressure to keep the shelves full now. This is before the planned rollout and a huge increase of projected need. This government is working. Austerity is working, universal credit is not working. We have a humanitarian crisis on our streets already. And as universal credit moves to fall out of Liverpool, it is likely to become an epidemic and lives will be lost. There must now be a citywide collective of political, religious and community leaders coming together to oppose this rollout and demand that governments pause us reviews and fixes universal credit. Chaos dominating the headlines, 
flags the fact that the one constant and unwavering feature of this Tory government, from Theresa May back to David Cameron's coalition, is a commitment to austerity. But not anymore. I welcome the fundamental change which has come from the election of Jeremy Corbyn as Labour leader and our ongoing commitment to tackle and challenge austerity. Suddenly the ground is breaking under the Tories' feet as the Labour Party and the unions take our rightful place, shoulder to shoulder, smashing the cosy consensus of austerity. This motion calls for people to pause and review and be also towards a system on social principles, social insurance and a welfare system that's based on need. Council, after 10, yes 10, long years, the end is finally within sight. Support the motion as the first step to defeat, towards defeat and austerity offensive. Thank you. Four out of ten claims were 